is just camping by the food today. He has just been right there ever since this morning. I haven't put the food out all week, so he's like, I'm hungry. I'm not gonna leave here. Babe, I think raccoons ate one of our chickens. Look at this trail of feathers. I mean, I don't think this is a bird because there's some bigger feathers over here. See that? Let's see how many chickens we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. thing oh I think they made a way over that fence over there because it's all bent <laughs> wow we got out. really far <laughs> hey, so you move this thing we need how about in a few pieces babe big big project chicken coop re remake you, 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 you don't know what you're saying We tried several different, more humane ways of making the skunk leave, but he would not leave. We uh, let the hose run under the platform for a very long time in hopes that the skunk's just going to bust out of there, but he would not leave and we really had to get this project done because our chickens had no no home at this point before, um, before sunset. So. We were very, very sad, or at least I was really sad of, of uh, us having to do this. We didn't really hurt the skunk by putting the the little blow up thing under. He was still alive, and for several days after this, he kept coming searching for his home. So he was okay, surprisingly. But then all of a sudden I thought to myself, what would Jim do? What would our Mr. Jim do in this situation? And for every situation, he used the four-wheeler. So the four-wheeler was the answer to our problem. All 
Why are you just gonna drag the stock along with you? Gone, and now the new poop is going on. We got rid of the skunk. Everybody's working. <laughs> I can still smell the skunk over here. It had a house. See, is this what he brought, or? He brought. He had a pond on the cab under there. Did he? Really? Yeah. So oh yeah. He was he like. Was was I don't think so. No, it's the raccoons because we could see them through the camera. Everybody's working. Are you working, Steph? No. We got everything lined up. The old coop is burned. We are in good shape. Just as I said, the skunk is right there at the chicken's food eating and drinking. And here comes a raccoon at the same time too. But I think this time we win. Yep, there is the skunk feasting, looking for his home, but his home's not there. And the raccoon is looking for chickens and the skunk. Nobody. You're done. Ralu got me a trampoline for my 40th birthday to keep me in shape. So I can stay in shape and Joe's working really, really hard on it. That all? Oh, I think you did it all. Good job. You were such a helper. Thank you. What do you do with these? Oh, 
I came out here to enjoy our new chicken coop and to drink a coffee. And what I ended up doing, and here's one more weed. I ended up weeding these beds and I got this out of it. I mean, look at that. The curse is real. The curse is real. <sighs> one bed was bad in particular because um, some bunnies um, made a nest in it and had babies. So I didn't really want to bother them. But it's so much work. Oliver planted these. I can't wait for them to grow all the way. Look at that beautiful one. Ali, you planted this. I'm so proud of my boys. They planted these two beds. They do need help taking care of them, but they're doing good better every year, developing a little more love for their own food growing, their own bed, though they're not very responsible pulling weeds yet, but I'm working on it. These are great. And there's the ladies with a new coop, a new home, beans, Gardening is hard work, people. Hard work of a watermelon. And a bunch of Romanian peppers. These are so good. The peppers did, did really good last year, but this year, not so much. Tomatoes are getting ready. Thank goodness, before we go to Romania so we can get to eat some. Gardening is not glamorous. Nothing glamorous about gardening, nothing. No glamour here. <laughs>